on cold winter mornings mist rises up from the sanskar river forming a beautiful backdrop to pishu this is the chulang the winter phenomenon in sanskar which literally means water smoke Pishu is a medium sized village in the Sham region of Sanskar. It is located opposite Zangla, the seat of the ancient king of Sanskar. The village is pretty and its people are warm and friendly. But not everything is perfect here. Pishu is known throughout Sanskar for its water scarcity issues. This is not a new problem but something the village has been facing for a long time. Even the name Pishu is indicative of the water shortages faced by the village ye rahe to pehle zamana mein idhar pishu mein pani kam hai chu ho mo ye pate ye jab hai zara de lomba chu to bin de de chu mi to de pi mo chan chu to ma de pi mo chan lung ban chu yo ma chu se chan no de chu mi yi me ka kwa yi chu mi bo yo lang ka bin chu mi yo ga o de chu mi bo yi me pate ko chu mi to de de yu le ming bo la pichu ze de pichu ze pimo som pichu ma to ze yul ming ta ko ya po yo hala da ni it is hard for any village to survive without adequate water there are instances of whole villages in sanskar being abandoned due to water scarcity for example The Shun village in the Lugnak region was abandoned in 2007 or 8 and the people shifted to Sarchu on the Lame Anali highway. They built a new village there from scratch and named it Chumigersa, the village of a thousand springs. Hopefully Pishu does not have to go to such extremes although the glacial stream feeding Pishu doesn't have enough water the village is blessed with a fresh water spring which provides them with plentiful drinking water all year round the spring has enough water to even irrigate the fields in the village but unfortunately it is located below the level of the village right by the Sanskar river while their fields are located a 100 feet or so above the spring The villagers have an interesting story about the origin of the spring in that location. Ote chiwa no ya. Kamba ji no. Poni yo de kamba yo de yuru da ga de che che ni ru. Yuru che che da ba yuru che che da ga ba ko shi ga. Ko shi. Shi ba ko se ha nga yuru yo la ma sa me ro ta le che. Ro ta le che na. Ki sa ni chu yo ze ha. Chuyong azir ba ko yu che den ka ni ka ni man kan be no ko awo ni yon da kan ji no ha yu yu le mi ma no ko ko ta le mi che ze yo le che ra ya ko ro yo le sa ha me yo le sa ba yo le sa ba sa ni ko te ro sa se mal bu ni chu chu de ha te ni ko ma ya le ko mi pa su mi zang bo yo ga te te ni chuyong ha chuyong ba te ni thal ba yo ga ta ro sa de thal ba ko ta le ngzi ba o to khudi kyo de lu le yo ha yi du la lu le yo be sana lu la chu se khato la silpa cha ha chu khato la se khato la ta to cha de mi de sa silpa o to cha ha to cha de ngam ngam o gun mani ye tam lo pa cha de lu la du la o to zu kya par cha yo de chu me me te ti ni bi sama ta pa song be sana o to thal ba la ta pa song de ta sa te thal ba yo ha ni chu ba ta sa yo mi du So the Meccan song. I visited Pishu at the end of December 2020. My plan initially was to spend a few days at the village, but I discovered on my arrival that both my feet were frostbitten during an earlier camping trip to Stumde. Jalra. So I spent over a month at Pishu resting. 
and recovering from the frostbite and observing winter life at the village one of the most interesting things that i like to observe during winters is to see how people get their water when everything around them is frozen Until last year the people of Pishu were using donkeys to fetch water during winters but in 2020 they have started using a tractor to collect water from the spring and distribute it to all the households in the village it is sad to see their traditional way of life disappear but the tractor saves a lot of time and effort for the villagers making their lives a bit easier during the otherwise tough winter months The biggest responsibility of the villagers during winter is to take care of their animals which need attention all through the day from sunrise till sunset. In addition to the yaks, zoos and dimos, it was also heartening to see goats and sheep being raised by the villagers in Pishu. This practice has almost ended in the villages of Ladakh and Spiti, but not in Sanskar. The nambu is a woolen cloth handmade in Sanskar. Traditional dresses like the guncha are stitched using the nambu and even modern jackets and trousers are tailored using it to keep with the changing times. <laughs> the women of Sanskar keep themselves busy during winters by spinning yarn for the nambu. Every single moment of free time they have you will find them working on the wool singing songs and chanting prayers the women have frequent gatherings during winter where they go to each other's home to work together as a group one such special gathering is the changtu which literally means have some chang it is a fun affair where a group of women usually friends from the same age group gather together to blow off some steam one person in the group is selected as the host each year and everybody gathers at their home for a few days to eat some good food sing dance and drink a lot of chang
A good majority of children in Sanskar go to school in far away places like Leh, Manali, Dharamsala, etc. These kids stay in boarding schools and visit home only every couple of years or so. But their schools were closed this year due to COVID and all the kids were back home at Pishu. It made for a very lively environment at the village. They would go to tuition in the mornings and then play all afternoon in the snow until the sun goes down in the evening. The winter days at Pishu are quite pleasant under the sun. The kids play outdoors and the people sit outside in the sun to do their various chores or to just relax and take a break from work. The temperatures dip drastically the moment the sun goes down and everybody goes indoors to the warmth of their kitchens to continue doing their chores, to eat, to pray, relax and wait for the warm sun to come out again. La la la